Hi guys, welcome to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream mobile games in Facebook using OBS Studio and a Power Mirror. But before that, if you haven't downloaded the OBS yet, please go to this video link right here before watching this video. Now get ready and we'll start after the short intro. First thing we need to do is download and install a power mirror. Now go to your favorite web browser and type in a power mirror. On the search results, let's select the first one. Then we're going to click download and wait till it finishes. Once it's done, click on it. Allow the app to make changes on the PC. An installation window will appear and here you can change the language and the installation folder but I'll leave it as it is. Click install now. This may take a while so I'll just speed this up. When it's done, click open now. And here a window will show up about VIP privileges and since we don't want to spend the time, let's just click continue trial as I recommend you to try it first. So now you've got a power mirror on your PC. As you can see, there are two options, Wi-Fi connection and USB connection. Let's leave it for a while and let's go to our mobile phone. Look for Play Store and type in a power mirror once you saw it, just click on it and install. So simply launch the app and just allow. And since we are running the app on our PC already, and both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi, then we're good to go. So for now, we're going to connect via Wi-Fi. And just click on this button right here. Now it will search for the available devices around it. So just tap on it. As you can see, you can connect to it also via USB. If you opt to do that, you have to enable USB debugging mode just search on how to enable it with your device. Once it's done, just tap on phone screen mirroring. Then tap start now. You'll see that your phone has now been mirrored to your PC. Now let's try to open a game. Don't worry about the watermark, it won't show up on your live stream. Now it's time to open your OBS Studio. Click the plus sign, window capture, click OK, and under the window drop down menu, look for a power mirror main. You can resize it by right clicking, go to transform, and look for fit to screen. And there you have it. So if you want to show your face on your stream, do it by clicking on the plus sign again under the sources window, video capture device, then hit OK. By default, it will detect any video capturing device on your computer. If you have two or more, you can select and change it here. Click OK. So click and drag wherever you want to put your cam and you can also resize it depending on your preference. Make sure that the video capture device is above the window capture 
else your cam will go behind and you won't see it. You can click and drag or click the arrow keys to position it. You can also add text and images if you want to. Well, you can put as many sources as you want. Just unleash your creativity and make your stream enjoyable to watch. So at this point, I realized that my game was not there anymore. So you might encounter this kind of problem in the future. So if that happens, just open your A Power Mirror, go back to OBS, and see if it's showing again. Once you're done and happy with it, it's time to go to Settings. You've got two options here. You can go to File, then Settings or you can just easily find it on this side so just click on it and go to stream on the service drop down menu select facebook live and leave it as default and now we need the stream key so to get that we have to go to our facebook page and click publishing tools then click on the creator studio and under creative tools click on live dashboard and click go live all right so here's the stream key uh, for me, I check the persistent stream key so I won't be copying it every time I go live. So all you have to do is copy this stream key right here. And then go back to OBS and paste it on here. Then click apply, then OK. After doing all that, you can now click start streaming go back to your Facebook page and input some details and don't forget to tag the mobile game that you are playing especially when you are applying for a level up program and the last thing you'll do is click go live when you click that you'll be redirected to your live dashboard where you'll see all of the activities that is going on your live stream so go ahead and try it and enjoy your stream. So that's it for now. Let me know if this video has helped you or if you have any questions, feedbacks or any additional info. I'd be glad to hear it from you guys. Give this video a like and share it to the people that might need this. If you want these kind of videos, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first one to watch my new videos. Thank you so much and God bless. Till next time, peace out.